Hello everyone, this is going to be a tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius for May 2021. So first I'm going to do a spread for those of you who are involved or dealing with someone. Then another one for the singles. Then I'm going to do a separate spread for your money matters. And at the end I'm going to make three piles with three different messages that you can choose from to see what your surprise is going to be this month. All right, so let's start Sagittarius for the Sagittariuses who are dealing with someone. Sagittarius in love. What can you tell me about Sagittarius in love? The Sagittariuses who are involved, what can you tell me about that? What's their situation right now? Sagittarius in love. Wow, you've got a really, really strong love connection here. Um, you've got the strength of and the two of cups, you know, uh, both very, um, both cards that speak of very intense romantic feelings, also physical attraction, and uh, in general, a very intense connection. But you've also got the five of cups, which is a card of sadness, of regret, of loss. So uh, something is um, has happened here. There is one of you that isn't really fully satisfied in this connection. Um, you see this person has uh, these three cups spilled over in front of them, but also two in the back and it's, it's mirroring this two of cups. So basically the love is there, but instead of looking at the positive, they're focusing on what they don't have in, uh, in this connection. So um, let's let's see, let's see more. Um, how does this person see Sagittarius? How does Sagittarius's partner see Sagittarius? How does this person see Sagittarius? All right, so I think they don't see that much of you, to be honest. Or there's something about you that they feel they don't know um, enough of. Um, it's possible with the Knight of Wands here, especially if you are a male Sagittarius, but it, genders don't really matter. Uh, you're full of energy and that makes this person confused. It's possible that you've got a lot of things going on in, uh, in uh, your life and you're basically all over the place. You have to do a lot of things and because of that, maybe you're not paying... To, uh, enough attention to this person and to this connection and uh, it it might have made them confused um, about your feelings for them about mm, your intentions towards them what you want from this connection there's something here that they, they, they see you as the two of swords so this is a card that shows um, um, something that isn't really fully revealed Okay, so there is an element of mystery here about you that this person is picking up on. And uh, I think it, it, that's the reason why. It, it's because um, you, you, you're you doing too much with your life, you know, apart from this connection. And um, uh, the fact that you're not focusing and making this a priority, let's say, uh, is, is making this person a bit confused. Now, let's see, what are their feelings towards you? What are this person's feelings towards Sagittarius? Please tell me, what are this person's feelings? All right, they don't know if whether they should keep investing and progressing in this uh, or not. Uh, they don't know if they should move ahead with you. You know, there's definitely love here. Uh, between the two of you but I don't I do think there is uncertainty as well from both sides you've both got these cards so um, uh, for you know weighing things out and the confusion about what it is that uh, um, you you want to do with the with the other and with the chariot here in their feelings and the two of pentacles it's as if they're very confused about the future and moving forward with uh, with this there could also be an element of distance here involved maybe you don't live in the same location 
And bas basically, this person is uh, also weighing things out from that perspective. Um, would they move to where you are or would you move to where they are? Okay. Um, and, and if it's not about a relocation, it could also be like a, a journey, a travel to come see you, to, to go see each other or maybe even to go on holiday together. Something along those lines. But in, in, in any case, there is uncertainty about the future here. And that's that's, that's uh, what their feelings are uh, for you right now, uh, Sagittarius. Um, let's see, what are this person's intentions towards you? What are this person's intentions towards Sagittarius? Okay, so um, they want to overcome this difficult moment. It's possible that maybe you two are not really that much in contact uh, right now or the contact between you is at the minimum. Well, they want to overcome this. They want to come back around and um, have success and put in more effort and put in more energy into this connection with you. Um, there could also be an element here of... Um, problems around finances they do have the two of pentacles here in their feelings so it could be also that they don't know what to do in terms of their finances if they can afford this journey this travel with you so that's why maybe in their intention they've also got the five of pentacles here like they want to overcome this period of financial struggles in uh, in uh, their life in order to be able to be at the right position to put in as much energy into this as they would like to okay now let's see um what's the the outcome here what's going to happen in the future between sagittarius and this person by the end of may what's going to happen between these two by the end of the month of may Okay, great. So things are definitely going to move towards a better place in uh, your connection. And I think that is going to happen after a discussion. Um, you need to clear things out with this person, Sagittarius. There is confusion here. There is uncertainty. You two need to have an honest conversation about things. You need to express to each other what your plans for the future are, what your feelings towards each other are. And these are genuine feelings of love and attraction, you know, but maybe you, you never really said that to each other, you know, so the other one doesn't really know where they stand. Okay, so a discussion definitely needs to take place and uh, it's going to have a very positive outcome. It's going to be, give you both hope and optimism for the future you've got the three of cups and the star card uh this these are cards that speak about good times and hopefulness so after you talk to each other you're going to see that you are going to look towards the future in a positive way um with optimism as i said and um you're going to i i'm i'm picking up that you're going to make plans together uh, for doing things together that are going to be fun, okay? So it's very possible that in the end, once this person solves their uh, financial problems uh, and you to have this discussion, you might even decide to make this journey, to go on this holiday. And it could also be, you know, a matter of visiting friends, seeing friends. Maybe you, you've got some friends in a, in a certain location and you want to go see them. In any case, there are some very good times ahead um, for you Sagittarius with this person and you are going to get on the same page with them because as I said for the time being I think the communication is very little and you're not saying to the other what the other needs to hear okay so you've got this uncertainty here but once you, once you're honest and upfront with each other things are going to change for the better all right, so let's see what these other cards have to say. Please tell me about Sagittarius. What more can you add to this? Give me a few more messages for Sagittarius. What more can you add to this story? All 
All right. So, um, you know what? Be because of this uncertainty, there might have even been or there might even be an argument between the two of you. And that, but that argument is actually, or, or if it's not an argument, just let's just call it a discussion, but it might be a, a, a bit of a heated discussion, so to say. Well, I'm telling you, Sagittarius, that although it might start off as an argument, it's actually going to have a positive outcome. This person is very much in their thought right now, either them or you. Uh, or I, I honestly, I think both of you, because you've both come up with these cards, you know, two of swords, two of pentacles. So um, you're in, in your head very much. And once you, you, you have this argument, you're going to clear things out and you're going to stop making scenarios in your head. Okay. Uh, clarity. Clarity is what is needed in this connection, and you're going to have it after this discussion, okay? Let's see what the other cards have to say. What more can you add to this for Sagittarius? What more can you add to this for Sagittarius? Okay. So I think um, you two are going to go together somewhere. Um, you're going to take a journey. It's possible that this is a journey that's already been talked about. Um, but you're going to see that once you decide to make this journey and you decide to go there, um, your, your relationship is going to um, get a really new, fresh vibe. Um, it's very possible that um, um, this this journey that you're going to make together um, is and and I see it as you two visiting a, a, some sort of building. You're either going to someone's house or it might even be a hotel. Okay, uh, but being there, being in that location, is going to open your mind um, for new possibilities, for new plans. Um, and one more thing I have to add to this, it's possible that over there, when you're there, you might conceive. Okay, so those of you who are not into this and don't want a child, take precaution. Because there is a strong possibility that on this holiday, you might conceive. Okay. And for sure, uh, for sure, there are going to be sexual interactions here okay on on this uh, on this trip with uh, with this person so because i see fertility here it's coming up very strong so um for fertility of the body but also fertility of the mind as i said once when you're going to be in that location it's going to inspire you and it's going to you know give you like new ideas new hope for the future and uh, you two are going to you know get this new fresh outlook on your relationship uh, with each other. All right, so that was the reading for Sagittarius. Uh, I hope it helped. If it did, please give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to watch more of my videos. And now let's do the reading for the singles. So let's see, Sagittarius. Please tell me about the Sagittariuses who are single. Who's coming towards them with love in May? The Sagittariuses who are single. Who's coming towards them with love in the month of May? Sagittarius. Who's coming towards them with love in May? Ooh. Wherever it is. There are going to be some problems here. <laughs> this person is coming up with an energy that is so forceful, so argumentative. You might be dealing with someone who is very aggressive, Sagittarius, so be mindful of that. Or it might just be that that's how the connection is going to start. It's going to start from an argument, like you, you have a complaint to make somewhere. 
like um i don't know you you complain about your food in a restaurant and that's how it starts and you you get to meet the somebody who works there you know or um but in any case yeah there this person shows up with an energy that's so forceful you, you might get to meet this month someone who has major problems with aggression so be mindful of that Sagittarius let's see what else I'm picking up um how does this person see you this new person who's coming into the life of Sagittarius how do they see you okay so they see you as someone who has an energy of someone be, being calm being caring but it's also possible that that's my that might make them suspicious of you in the sense that this person is too nice to be true this sagittarius no, nobody can be this nice no, nobody there's something with about the sagittarius so i'm going to keep my guard up and uh and uh you know watch it around them because they're they act all nice and sweet but they can come uh, come around and bite me in the ass you know they they might see something about you that they perceive as being problematic okay um yeah they they the, the energy i'm picking up on here is they see you as both sweet and bad okay so very contradictory energies all right let's see what are their intentions towards you what are this person's intentions towards Sagittarius yeah they want to put they're going to put it on hold mm, I don't think they want to progress with you and it's very interesting you come up in their mind as water sign energy whereas you're actually a fire sign it's possible that in the presence of this company uh, in the company of this uh, person uh, you might be displaying this uh, sort of energy this sort of you know sweetness caring nature being helpful you know um and that's the problem <laughs> you know um they don't like it like that they like it like this because this is their energy your energy is very contradictory to their energy it's co the complete opposite look at you you you're, you come up as somebody nice and sweet and they show up as someone who so with so much aggression in uh, in them yeah so their intentions towards you are to to not progress with this to put this on hold unless unless this might be a third party situation and this queen of cups is actually their current partner and they want to put this on hold with them so they can be with you let's see let's see what's going to happen and let's see what the other cards are going to say because because um they might clarify what this is about um let's see what's the outcome here what's going to happen between sagittarius and this new person by the end of the month of may What's going to happen between them by the end of May? Okay, so I get here cards of love and happiness and then with the Three of Swords, which is a card of heartbreak. Someone is going to get their heart broken here in this connection, but I'm not really sure if it's you or not. It could also be this third party person who shows up here. Yeah, so I see love here. I see happiness. I see pleasant times between the two of you. But also this heartbreak. You might be dealing with... You're definitely dealing with a heartbreaker. It's just that I don't know which side you are on. Are you the one <laughs> they leave the, the, the current partner for? Or are they just going to have a romance with you? Some uh, good times with you? and then decide to walk away from this let's see what the other cards have to say please tell me more about this for Sagittarius for the Sagittarius who are single 
what's going to happen here? What more can you tell me about this story? The Sagittarius is for single. Yeah. There's going to be a date here. There's definitely going to be a date here. But you're also getting the death card, which again is a, is a negative card next to the positive ones. Sagittarius, you need to be mindful of this because there's something wrong here. You you be, you need to be very careful about this new person because um th there they might be someone who could really break your heart one way or another. So whoever it is that you're going to meet this month, I advise you to um, be very cautious around them and get to know this person be uh, very well before you start making plans and illusions with them. Because there's something here that's... Yeah, there's something here that's not right. Wait, what more can you tell me about Sagittarius? about this connection that they're going to have this new connection with this person what more can you tell me okay so um i'm picking up uh here on a person who is somebody who is very high status and very rich person and it's as if um this is your dream come true like wow I, I never thought i could be with someone like that i never thought i could be with someone with such uh, position uh this is a person who is a, a person of authority in what they do uh they are the boss i think and they're also very well off financially okay and this uh, when you're going to see this you're gonna be like wow i've never been with someone like this before and i'm so happy that they're like this but this person Sagittarius, I don't mean to burst your bubble here, but there, there's there's a third party involved in this for sure who is going to get their heart broken. So I don't know who you are, and it might even be different for um, you, Sagittarius. Some of you might be on on, on this on one side, and the others could be on um, uh, the other one, but. For sure, this there is there are going to be some arguments here, either between you and this person or around this connection. You know them with their um, current partner, and someone is going to have it rough in the end. So um, that that's what I'm picking up on Sagittarius. Okay, so that that's all I can tell you from now, uh, for now. So I wish you good luck. <laughs> I wish you good luck. I hope it works out well for you. Um, if you liked this reading, if you thought it was helpful, please give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to watch more of my videos. And now let's do another spread for your money matters. Please tell me about Sagittarius in terms of their money. What's going to happen this month for Sagittarius in terms of their money? Give me four cards. Their situation, their challenge, their advice, and the outcome. Okay. So, um, there are some problems here, I think, around the family. There is a family here that's breaking up. That's what I'm seeing here, although it's a spread for money. But I think that the breakup of this family is going to impact your finances. So whoever it is, whether this is your relationship, or maybe it's your parents, or maybe it could even be a friend, and you're going to have to help this friend financially. Yeah, because here in the situation I see a family, but the challenge is the two of cups, the love connection, okay? The the actual couple in this, fa this family. 
Now, your advice is to stand your ground and fight for what you think is right in this. So if this is about a divorce, you know, you have to speak up and say, hey, we, we have to, you know, you have to give me what's mine. You have to give me half of everything and so on. But in any case, uh, so you should do that. But you should also know that with the tower as the outcome, things are coming to are going to crash down. So the fallout of uh, this family is also going to have an impact over your finances, whoever they are. Okay, it might even be your boss, you know, and because of that, you know, maybe they own the business with their spouse. And that's uh, the fact that they are divorcing are is impacting you financially. Okay. So, yeah, I see an argument and a very possibly a separation, a divorce here uh, with, with, um, between, between a couple. And that is going to lead to financial problems. All right. So, um, that was the message for your money matters. Now, let's see what these other cards have to add. So I'm going to make three piles with three different messages for three different groups of Sagittariuses. And you're going to pick one. Please tell me about Sagittarius. What more can you tell them? What's going to be their surprise this month? What's going to come to them unexpectedly this month? Sagittarius. Okay, so you've got the first group, the second, and the third. So go ahead and pick one using your intuition. All right, so let's see for the first group. All right, so, mm, yeah. I have to tell you that there's going to be grief about the love connection here. There, 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 I see a separation here, a love connection that is ending. All right. And um, the, the way this is going to end is because someone here is going to be curious about what their partner has been doing. And once they start digging up, they're going to find things they don't like. And I think these things they don't like involved either too much partying or problems around finances. Uh, you know, the, some sort of scenario they tell you like, uh, I'm going to visit my mother or I'm going to stay at my mother's for the weekend. And they were actually out with their friends. Or something like that all right but as I said I see a separation here and it's going to happen because one of you is going to find out something and they're going to dig for it this is not information that's just going to come to them you know some friend tells them no once this person digs uh, they're going to find uh, something that they don't like all right, so let's see for the second group. Wow, Sagittarius, you, you have it rough this, uh, this, uh, this month. So I see here two people, an older man and a younger man. And these men are going to be talking about you and also with you. And there are going to be arguments here. It's as if these two men are talking about you and then they come to you and tell you what it is that they don't like about you or the problem that they have with you. And um, and there's going to be a heated argument here. Okay, this is not going to be an, an enjoyable conversation with this man. So whoever they are, work colleagues, your father and your brother, I don't know. I, as I said, an older man and a younger man. Here in these cards... <clears throat> the the older man shows up as someone brunette and with uh, dark colored um, co with a uh, with a darker complexion, uh, whereas the, the 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 younger male 
shows up as someone uh, with a lighter colored hair and a lighter complexion compared to the other one. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, expect these men to come towards you with trouble. All right, and let's see for the third group. Okay, so for the third group, finally a good message, <laughs> you know, uh, there's going to be some great luck um, here uh, coming your way from a person who appreciates you very much. And uh, this person holds, holds you in very high esteem. They have a very, very good opinion about you, um, Sagittarius. And this person likes you. They like to be around you and they want to be around you. If this is a romantic interest, this person wants to spend time with you. But it, it can be anyone. It could even be a work colleague. They show up here as a younger um, energy, a young male. Okay. Um, a young male uh, who is brunette and with light colored eyes, either blue or green, okay? Um, but uh, in any case, um, expect, expect to receive compliments for someone, uh, from someone and expect them to be very nice to you. And this connection with them is going to feel like it's very lucky to you. Um, this person might... I don't know, help you with something, you fulfill a dream or just them in your life is going to feel like a wish fulfillment and good luck. Okay. So that was it with these cards. Now let's see what messages we've got from Spirit from you, for you. Uh, I'm going to pull out three and you're going to have to pick one. So let's see, what can you tell me? What should Sagittarius hear right now? The first message. What does Sagittarius need to hear right now? The second. And what does Sagittarius need to hear? The third. Okay. So go ahead and pick one using your intuition. All right. So for the first um, message, you've got count your blessings. So there are some good things coming your way, Sagittarius, and uh, they might even be, you know, a blessing in disguise for some of you because you did have some negative cards over there. But, you know, try to, to look at the bright side. Maybe even arguments with someone could lead to something good, something productive, or maybe it's just to the uh, realization that they weren't really the right person to have in your life. Okay. Um, let's see the second message. People ask me, why are you single? You're attractive, intelligent, and creative. My reply is, I'm overqualified. Yes, <laughs> isn't that how it happens very often? And um, yeah, sometimes we, we don't, just don't meet the right people to match us in our energies. Um, so they wouldn't be a good match uh, for us anyway. And perhaps it's better, you know, sometimes to be single than to be in uh, in wrong company. All right, so uh, let's see the third message. What your heart wants, your hands get. Okay, so this is a message that is um, pushing you, you know, um, motivating you to be proactive to uh, go after what it is that you want. So if you needed a green light for, for your plans, here it is. You had to see this message. It's this message. So Sagittarius, whatever you set your mind on and especially your heart on, what you hold dear, go get it. All right. So that was the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you clarity and insight into what you can expect um, if you found it helpful, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to watch more of my videos, um, write me comments below and tell me how these readings apply to your situation because they're always very fun to read. Um, I wish you good luck with uh, what's going on in your life and I'll see you again in my next videos. Bye for now.